today we will learn about shearing uh, if you remember earlier we learned about compression in the compression the force is perpendicular to the deforming area so f is perpendicular to the area whereas in a shearing your force is parallel to the shearing area. So that's the difference between the compression and the shear. Here again we have a shear stress just to distinguish it from compression. So the normal compression stress, normal there is no 2L, normal compression stress is sigma. For shear stress, we are going to use tau. Tau is equal to force per unit area. Again, the units are in Pascal or PSI, which is the pound force per square inch. Pascal is nothing but the Newton per meter square. So when you apply the force, you are deforming it. And then the deformation over the original dimension is the strain. Here the deformation is a D and the original dimension here is the thickness. So it's D over T and the angle is theta. So gamma which is for the shear strain is equal to D by T which is tangent of the deformation angle. Again, similar to the Hooke's law, which stress uh, stress is proportional to strain, and the proportionality constant is the Young's modulus. This is for the compression. Same thing for the shear. Here, the shear stress is proportional to the shear strain, and the proportionality constant is known as the shear modulus. Because the shear strain doesn't have any units and shear stress is Pascal, the units for the shear modulus is also 